Okay, I'm back with another video, and it is fall, September time, which means it is iPhone season. So I went ahead and pre-ordered the iPhone uh, 13 Pro Max, and it just came in from UPS. I know a lot of people are getting in their packages as well. So I will show the full unboxing and just give my initial impressions. So, nope, and I opened it upside down, so. There it is in the box, the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I got it in graphite. So this year, Apple made a lot of nice little updates to the iPhone. Uh, here's my 12 Pro Max, the outgoing model. Last year, you know, uh, Apple introduced a few different sizes, the 12 mini, the 13 Pro, the regular 13. And, you know, I was really confused last year about which one to get. So I kind of bounced between them. I had the 12 Pro, which is over here. I eventually went to my wife. I tried the mini for a while. Uh, and then eventually I went to the 12 Pro Max and this is what I've been using for like the last six months. So this year, the 12, the 13, regular uh, line 13 and 13 mini and the 13 Pros uh, are kind of identical to each other. In other words, like the 13 mini and the 13 are identical other than uh, the size and battery and same with the 13. Pro and the 13 Pro Max. But uh, Apple this year made the decision a little easier for me because the Pro lines get uh, screen updates. So they now have the high refresh rate and um, the better cameras all around. So if you get the regular 13 mini or the regular 13, the sensors on the Pro line is actually better on each one. Probably marginally better. You know, Apple is really good about uh, making their cameras uh, very nice and the improved quality will probably only be notable in uh, tough conditions and it's the same with the 12 Pro Max between the 12 Pro. So last year the 12 Pro Max actually had a uh, slightly larger sensor and sensor shift stabilization but if you looked at videos on YouTube and things like that or, and even in real life um, the differences were pretty marginal between the 12 Pro Max and the 12 Pro, despite having slightly better camera. It's just in the more difficult situations and low lighting and stuff. So anyway, um, this year, if you get the Pro line, you're getting better cameras all across the board. So the decision was a lot easier for me to go with the Pro. And I'm also like kind of used to the heft and the size. So here it is, I, I got it in graphite. It's a color that I really like. Uh, this silver I got uh, mostly because I got a good deal on it on Facebook Marketplace. And first impression is that it is a beautiful color and well, it's a, it's a iPhone 13. Um, I know the weight increased a little bit between the two, 12 Pro Max and the 13 Pro Max, maybe about like, I don't know, I wanna say like maybe 20 grams. But initial impress impression is that I don't notice a difference in the weight. Also, it is supposed to be physically a little bit thicker now. And same thing on initial impression. If there is a difference in thickness, it's like 0.2 millimeters. And I can't really feel that. So the first hand impression is that the increased thickness and weight is negligible to me. But that camera bump is huge. <laughs> and it's the first thing that pops out at you. And Apple is not shying away from it in the advertising, even on the Pro Maxes. You can see it's hard to tell with the silver white backed iPhone 12 Pro Max, but it's larger in every dimension. The lenses, the uh, protruding glass. So we'll see how it is. I mean, like, you know, I'm sure in a case you won't be able to really tell the difference. So let me go ahead and um, as we know, you get some paperwork, USB-C to lightning cable, and no charger in the box anymore. SIM eject tool, the Apple sticker, which I never use. I feel like Apple can, I don't know if there's any of you out there that use the sticker for anything to advertise your Apple products or place it somewhere, but it seems like if Apple is looking to save the environment, they can save some paper and get rid of that sticker. I'm not sure who uses it. And the other thing I noticed too is that the box now shows the color in the back of the iPhone, whereas I bought it out here for reference, the 12 Pro of last year shows the front and you just get a little edge lining to show what 
what color you have. So that's it. Fairly quick unboxing experience. And let's peel this off. Always nice. And there is the display. Let me power this on. I know now that uh, T-Mobile and all of these iPhones don't ship with a SIM card. So now it's gonna activate on eSIM. So I'm not sure if I'll go through the whole setup here on camera. Um, the other changes, of course, as everyone knows, is that the um, Face ID notch on the top is a little bit smaller. Apple says 20%, so they narrowed it over there. And it's a slightly taller. The notch never really bothered me, but what I do like is that they moved the earpiece speaker all the way to the top edge. And that gives the impression of having an almost continuous sheet of glass on the front without any break. So obviously before where the earpiece was, the earpiece has actually been getting smaller and smaller. If you guys remember with the eight line and the seven and the sixes, it was a longer, maybe double the length that speaker hole. And now the front of it is completely continuous. So it reminds me a little bit of the iPads. I have my iPad Pro over there and I like that. It's a little bit more minimal, a little sleek. So there's our welcome screen. And let me do the swipe up and see if I can see, my eyes can see the difference in that 120 hertz. And yeah, <laughs> you definitely can see the higher refresh rate. Oh yeah, and that's, that's the other thing that I failed to mention early on. The regular 13 lines don't have the high refresh rate screen. So the 13 Pros have the high refresh rate. And let's see. It'll be tough to show on camera, of course, but um, looks like nice to have. I'm also notice noticing a little bit difference in the screen temperature um, between the 12 Pro Max and the 13 Pro Max. Also hard to pick up on camera, but the 12 Pro Max kind of looks a little bit more dull compared to the 13 Pro Max. I know that was a controversy on the interwebs last year, so it's nice to see that even on first impression, the screen quality on the 13 Pro is nicer. And yeah, I'm really liking it. So maybe I will go ahead and go through the setup. And what I will do actually uh, is I'm going to cut. And also for reference, uh, I did bring my wife's iPhone 12 Pro, which is also in graphite. And uh, there you can see the difference in size. As far as color, to my eyes, the old graphite and the new graphite are identical. It basically looks identical to me. Maybe the back, back glass might have a slightly different hue, uh, or it could just be because it's difficult to get them both in the same exact light. So yeah, if you get graphite from before, if you had graphite on the 12 series and you're thinking about getting the 13 graphite, they are identical. Okay, so I'm basically fully set up. Everything is restored. Um, I did have a hell of a time setting up my T-Mobile uh, eSIM. And ultimately, I just decided not to and I called T-Mobile and had them uh, reactivate the old physical SIM card and now I'm basically up and running. Um, I've had it for a few hours now uh, after the unboxing. I haven't really had much of a chance to use it, but I can say that the scrolling, the 120 hertz scrolling is definitely really nice and my eyes are already kind of adjusted to it. It's really fluid. And now when I pick up my old iPhone with the 60 hertz, just looks a little jittery. I don't think I can go back to that. So that's it for my first impression and unboxing. Uh, hopefully I'll be back in a few days after I can kind of take a look at the cameras and um, have some more thoughts and uh, opinions after actually using it for some time. So hope that helps some of you out there. Thanks for watching.